What a hell? I can explain it, Mr. Giuseppe. What? I can't believe it. And not you, Mr. Ferdinand the Postman? The same one. I thought you were. That's the moustache I have on my mind. And are not you who delivered the sad post at home? The same one. And could it be that there is no staff from Russia who delivered to me daily post? Exactly. And among my forgetfulness, wouldn't you kill and greedy at the same time? That you distract me to stay alone with my lovely wife? Can't be more correct. Then I just can ask for one thing. Justice. Justice, that's it. But as I am a good man, and I thought I lived a bit clueless, I will have to give you, Mr. Ferdinand, one exit for you. You act with wisdom, Mr. Giuseppe. You are as clever as I always heard about you. Shut up! As I feel gently, listen properly to my proposition. Could you see that window over there? I see that window better than you, Mr. Giuseppe. Are you up in the window? I jump through it. That's as high as we are, no one survive. Are you fighting a dwarf with myself? That is, hates we are who survive is no one. Or fight in a dwarf with myself. And I worry you. I am a half knight with a horse and a half warrior with a shield. It's not like that. Everybody can have an oversight. One. Twenty. Twenty-two! Twenty-two oversize! Come here, Mr. Ferdinand, that I'm going to do jackpot! I can have no stray flash, but I'm going to have royal flash, because... You have no pace, right? What does it mean? Well, what's your choice if it's true that you have no other choice that you did? Clemency, Mr. Yosape. No clemency! Then switch off the light. I have to dress myself to fight in a duel with you. I didn't hear such a clever thing in this beautiful night. Oh hell, Mr. Ferdinand, where did he go, such a crappy worm? He flew away, Mr. Giuseppe. Let him go. There are a lot of houses waiting for both. She can deliver properly that in my home the mailbox is closed. But what happened, my Catherine? You were my dove. A sun in the morning, the light of my life. That already happened. Our passions are right now in the past. That wonderful feelings in the stomach every day. That's true. We also have letters. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Well, my game mat, my poker face, my scrabble. What happened between us? He advised with the game. Cause there were not even in that you went to play with friends. Leaving me here alone in this empty and cold house. I gave you everything. <coughs> and never did you pay me with this money. And then, there is no more tokens to bet. There are not. And if there were, it was I were where I were I were. At least you imitate my skills with poems. And not just that, also your vice with the game. What? Yes, my darling, cause in the morning I went to the casino and with women and wives we had such a pocket team back that. Oh, I lost everything. Everything. You joking? Our money? Everything. Oh my god. And with which money I go tonight at five? There's not for it, Mr. Giuseppe. Not for it. Everything is because of the postman. Liar. I will look for him in the heaven and in the hell. I will find you. I will do my justice and justice will fall over you. Come here, Mr. Ferdinand. Wah! Psst. He's gone. He couldn't use his word with me when he was just over me. It's over, Mr. Ferdinand. Our relationship is out. We are not longer together. Game over. Insert coin. And what can I do? I can't deliver more letters. 
You has already delivered all of them. Not all of them. What do you mean? Yes, Catherine. My love is so big to give it all to a woman. Oh, a scoundrel. Come, Catherine. This is the nature of myself. You are so sweet. I know, Catherine. Because we are made the one to the other and the other for all women. And it's not less the love I gave to you that I gave to others. It's the same for me, Mr. Ferdinand. I love you. Don't leave me alone. I will jump over there. Stupid things. It's much better hide yourself under the bed. It depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. The situation is that I love you. And I love you. But hurry up. Hide yourself that I hear steps. Someone is coming. We got it. Are you sure? I found him swimming naked in the river. Only a liar swim naked. And the face? I just saw a moustache. That one on my mind for the eternity in my lovely days in a warm Spanish land of Come Castilla. Come on, Giuseppe, to the point. To the point. I didn't see his face, but such a moustache under the nose can be just from one person, Mr. Ferdinand. And what are you going to do? The only thing to do with a coward who doesn't show his face. No. White good man. Live that a happy man that nothing has to deal in this game. That's true, cause there's not more liar than the one I have in front of me. And this one is just a bag with legs. Come back to the river. And about you... Dwell. You will have a duel. But you will be a real gentleman tomorrow at sunrise in the lands of Pedro. You will fight in the hardest duel of your life. I'll be there. Let the opener in the hand. My honor and courage still stand myself for a meeting with yourself. With your own justice. But tell me, my friend, what a crazy idea of imitating me on my words. Excuse me, Mr. Yusepe, I only wanted to stay at your level. Never, Mr. Ferdinand. According to what happened to yourself, I will take from you the Mr. and the Ferdinand. Then, that's really what you want? And ended with his words to live on a dead? I have no doubt about it. Cause with the breath of my voice, we join together and the first one <laughs> to sing this world we make the end of a lot of slips and slips. I'm finally it has to be my soul singing in your mouth from myself to glorify one person, my wife and lover in the dark times, and hopefully future Mrs. Catherine. Stop, Mr. Giuseppe. Catherine. Catherine. What are you doing here? This is not ambience for a white lady. Cause sooner or later a bright red will blow up in the air. No, Giuseppe. I don't want such an end. I don't want this. And what do you want, oh my angel, my favorite croupier? That's it. What do you want? Explain us, I mean. Is not true that both are skilled while writing? I am the best writer. I am the best one. No, I am the best one. No, I am the best one. Not true, I am the best one. One all. You win this match. This one on all of the matches. Stop, forget these words. 
I want the man that from his mouth is proud the most wonderful beauties to me, the words that brighten my joy in the way of my life and the pace my penalties. I want that man and no other. If that is your will, my love, here I leave my sword. Cause I wouldn't have to worry about a duel with such a load that doesn't know to combine above, but he wouldn't have to do it more in the future. And I will not talk about writing letters, cause we all know that doing that and delivering is a completely master. On my letters, you will not see a stain. And no stamp, cause you also delivered the one with a stamp too. A stop. Mr. Ferdinand, leave the letter open. Write for me, yes, a person on both sides. The most wonderful prose never written before. I will stay with the best one. Do you have paper and a pen? I always carry it with me. Thank you so much. Don't worry, my friend. And the pen? True. Sorry. Nice gesture. At your command, my friend. Start. In a sore place, where the sea increases and breaks at any time, the whisper of the wind and the petting of the foam, the croaking of the birds and the beauty of the clouds. In such a great landscape came to develop the action that I am going to write about. In the time of Ferdinand VII, in close dates to the spring, a cozy silent ship recalled its sea in the distance, and no other thing was seen except the chorus of the starboard and the most wonderful sail with the rigging of the spa. In a village of Castilla, the name of which I have no desire to call to mind, it's true that the scripture marks Segovia as the place of the acts. In a time where Mrs. Elizabeth and Mr. Ferdinand came to this brilliant land of encouraged knights, they lived no long since one of those gentlemen, not keeping a lance, not a horse, but with the fervor to his homeland and the most loyalty to this lady, lady of ladies, the princess of his kingdom, his queen of the chess, his queen. Well, how are the written going? This is so slow, Catherine. There is no time to sow a piece of my level. I have the same opinion. But don't you have the level? I have it. So us. Stop. That's right. That grows <coughs> beauty and strong, but we are not good in time. Try the verse, cause there is no other thing that awakens better the heart of a lady than a sonnet, a ballad, or both at the same time. Both at the same time? Never! Verses of minor art or minor art, with a proper rhyme or not, there is no mercy ground for you where I am win better. Instead you, Ferdinand, launch a parrot. Here it come, oh my sweet Catherine, mine in the river Nile and in the Tangerine. Power, how could you dare to speak in that way to my wife? I'm not surprised at this moment. But don't be afraid, my lovely wife. Here I have for you the most beautiful poem. At any place, my life, I wouldn't find the most beautiful flower if I don't have you with me, my wife. Vai, Chita. I have read it here in the game, but I didn't check it for myself. You just don't use the proper metric, you even reject the classic rules. Are not you rejecting the basic honorable rules? No. But I don't agree with that. Listen properly, my Catherine. I'm hearing. Black is the night. Black are your eyes. White is the moon looking from the sky. Oh, even if you are with me, so sigh. Your sight is for me pure light. What a nonsense! I never met before such a fool. Then, oh Catherine, who will be the winner and fall in your arms for the rest of the days? I want a sonnet. I want a sonnet and the faster we have a dinner with me. Even if you ask us for a sonnet? There will be no loser sleeping quiet. It's easy to win following the steps. And finally live with you with respect. Stop, I just don't know with who I should be. My ring will show you the way. There's no way, just the way you walk.
My sorrow's growing up. Is this my destination? Don't suffer more, my Queen Catherine. It's amazing. You continue thinking in the game. Ferdinand, for me you are a thorn. The end is so close and I don't fight. Don't fight. Go away fast as the light. <laughs> Stop. I have an election. Which one? Which one? No one. No one? No one, no one, and um, please give me that sword. Firstly, Ferdinand leave his stuff. I will not do it. Bringing it here. No! Ah! No! Oh, so sad the end we lived. I will stay alone with my misfortune, and time will drown my destination. Oh, sad is my destination and sad is my life. I will stay in the saddle for the rest of my life. What happened to men? If I told you, you wouldn't believe what I could say. And even if you listen to my words, you wouldn't believe it anyway. Tell me if I have helped you, maybe? I will tell you I saw the birds from them. We will say that the red little bird flew out from the nest looking for food. And when he came back, he found a pigeon with a vulture. And in an anchor between the little red bear and the vulture, a setback appeared and the little red bear had to go out from the nest forever and he couldn't see again the pigeon. A messenger pigeon? Messenger was the vulture, but right now he's in a long trip in a certified post. I don't clarify, well. Don't worry about clarify. It's me who has to clarify. What would be of a man who travel alone without any course and without any destination? Buena bother via? Better too for me. That according to my throat, soon I will be completely dry under the ground if I don't put it white a bit. Be careful. I've called it not a group friend. Don't worry. Then, are you going to Santander? Oh yeah. I'm looking for biggest cliffs in the north of Spain. There were the sea breaks against the stones and the human being can fall into the void. From the heights with such an armor and touch the bottom of the sea, where the destination meets ourselves in better way to the future. Really? We are going to our mother house. We are going every summer to Magdalena's beach. That's right, this year I brought my petanque, the glasses, the tube, the beach packet. Why you don't come with us? Come on! I only see a minute for myself, if the wildness drives me to another place. Come with us, you will have a good time. Yeah, and also my pattern speech, this super padded, this kite, the body bar, and about my mother, don't worry, I don't have to call her, and also... No, please, listen to me, if I... Forget yourself, just one day. You see, the sun and the sun will be great for you. Darling, we go for a walk, take care of man, okay? Yeah, ma'am. Hey, listen to me. Don't let me here alone. Hear me. Are you coming with us? Hey, where are you going? Come here, little rascal. Don't let me alone. Hey, help, mayday. Nobody hear me. And the tide is growing up. This is my end. Oh, my end. But I'm young and I didn't have the guilt. 
Maybe that's right that I will with this war, but she was who sinked to hear. And after her for him, and I should have not fall. I want to leave. And the water is right here, the end of myself. But in such hard situation, I can do not all the things that throw to the air my condition of draw all. Because to be, I know what I am, and I always knew it. And if the death catch me by surprise, we'll have to fight against my poetry in this life, my life. And there it goes, a epitaph to the stars of the universe. <coughs> Oh, my dear Catherine, princess of so many people, but just my queen, that I met in dry land, not a marine, while I was the troubadour that you never seen. You were with me a really close person. You were too close with others at any season. And even if I didn't find the reason, soon I will leave this world. No wife, daughter or son. I've never was a coward. I've never fight for a reward. And even if I've lost your in certain occasion, you will be mine forever, as my heart is a red card. I say goodbye to the world. The curtain closed right now. I don't find words that I can find by myself, cause the water will sing the arrow that I feel to your heart just in the breast below. I will just say to this world that loved me, I am Giuseppe il Trovadore. Il Trovadore was me. Thank you.